this record was way more like weird. I just wanted to be as strange and as weird as possible because that's what makes me happy, you know? The intent behind Crazy Eyes was for me to kind of take charge like I used to and to have me kind of produce it um, as well as be the artist that I am today. And uh, Short Bus was very much a record where it was just two guys, you know, and a computer and we would play guitar because we needed to fill it up and we added different sounds that we had created uh, with, with, you know, s sampling and doing all different kinds of things with that. Um, it's it's kind of taking that attitude of leave the artist alone and let him do what he does, which is what it was like at Warner Brothers. And when I asked um, Wind Up, you know, could I just kind of go back to that? They were like, absolutely, go away. The first decision with Crazy Eyes was to not have the guitars to be as big and as overwhelming as they've been for the past two or three records. Um, I. I wanted to make more room for programming. The traditional format with, you know, a drummer and a bass player and everybody is you work on the music, then you work on, you know, and there's this whole thing. And I just didn't want to be a part of that. I just wanted to, like, experiment and mess around. And then as we, you know, have continued, that's always been kind of a main thing for me is to just have someone that knows how to run the computer and someone that I want to co-write with or write with you know the thing that makes this the the filter sound is just the fact that I'm still here and I still listen to music and I still love uh, uh, listening to current bands and stuff like that but at the same time I kind of need all of my eccentricities to appear on the records and that's why it sounds so familiar it's kind of like the thing where Amalgamut leaves off and this picks up after Amalgamut um, so I, I really enjoyed making this record and it was really freeing and a lot of fun. Take a look at Adam Lanza. There's a pattern that, that I started noticing with some of the, the, the truly crazed evil people. There's this, you know, there's this look that some of these guys have and I just think that it's fitting I, you know obviously I have a lot to say as a as a person you know as an American you know I, I have a lot to say on politics or or just anything and I I don't want to necessarily have everybody know what it's all about because I want people to come to their own conclusions on what the songs are about but you know I just call it like I see it you know and Crazy Eyes is just this lunacy that this this kind of hysteria that the 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 world is in right now i mean whether it's isis or whether it's you know adam lanza or whether it's uh dylan roof or or uh just the extreme bizarreness of human behavior and um you know obviously Taylor Swift has Sweet and Bubblegum locked for us. She's got she's got all that. She's covered all those bases. So I think Filter is just, we have to be as strange and as weird as possible and reflect the anger, the insanity that is the other part of our world. And I'm, I'm glad to do it. 20 years ago during during short bus we had this crazy idea to get a one gigabyte hard drive and we called the label and said we need this one gigabyte hard drive and they were like are you are you it was like it was like what's his face in uh back to the future one gigabyte you know one gigabyte how could you great scott great scott but yeah, we, we called up and said we want to do everything in Pro Tools for for half the record, and they were just like uh, wild. So this you know this big four space piece of gear from like you know a, a, a company in Silicon Valley shows up, and it's this one gigabyte hard drive, and it was just bizarre. I mean, we were touching it like it was the monolith or something. Like, how dare you 
can even say the word gigabyte, you know what I mean? So we got one of those and, uh, and it, that's when experimenting became even weirder and more fun. Hi, this is Richard Patrick from Filter. Subscribe to Louder Noise, the loudest noise on earth.